Hey guys, let's face it. 2020 has been a wild year. Absolutely wild. We've had ups. Have we had any ups, actually? No. No, I think it's just been all downs. It's been all downs. Let's just call it a year of change, all right? Well, right down the middle, change. And recently I found myself needing a change of careers. How lucky. My hours at my current job have been cut, like, bad. Like, I've gone from working 35 hours to working probably like 25. So by 10 hours a week, it's a lot. It's a lot. And, you know, I got a raise in an attempt to compensate for it, but I'm still making like $700 less a month than I normally would be. And that matters to me, damn it. $700 might not be a lot to you, but god damn, that's a lot of money to me. I'd rather have $700 than not have $700. Now know what I'm saying? And sure, I have savings tucked away, and I'm still making enough to cover my expenses, but that's it. There's no growth outside of that. Like, I'm, I am legitimately stagnating. I've tried to put my bachelor's degree in business administration to work and find a place of reliable employment, but my skill set is so generalized that it's hard to find something, especially something that I actually want to do, right? And you can only tolerate doing admin work so much. I don't know about you guys, but I fucking hate answering phones and just doing administrative work in general now. It's just so, it's just so mind-numbing. It's just so mind-numbing, you know? Once you hit, I hit 30. It was 30 for me. Actually, I hit like 28. I just had to stop. It was too much. But here's the deal. From this day onward, I'm going to be pursuing a job as a web developer. As crazy as it sounds, I have zero experience in coding, all right? Big goose egg there. Zero experience in coding. And I'm terrible at math. Like in high school, instead of taking pre-cal, I was one of those kids that took that, that math model class. That was me. All right. So uh, mm, I'm not the most, I don't want to say not smart, but you know, inclined. We'll go with that. But I spent the last two weeks playing around with uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript and doing a lot of research on the field. A lot of research into like, you know, what goes into being a, a front-end web dev, the uh, code you should use, the languages, you know. And I found some generalized answers. I'll probably be making another video about that. But um, I just wanted to feel it out for the last few weeks and try to plan out something good, right? Try to plan out my course of action and see the direction that I wanted to go. Which is awesome because, as it turns out, I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun, a lot of fun making stupid little things, making little buttons clickable on websites and just fucking around. It was a lot of fun. So as it stands now, with the limited knowledge that I have about the whole field, the field as a whole, my goal is to transition to a front-end web dev job within six months. Not within six months, at the six-month mark. That's kind of my goal. So within six months, at the end of six months, I want to be able to transition over into a web dev job, a front-end web dev job. And uh, I'm going to be self-taught, all self-taught. No boot camps, uh, no schools, obviously, books, YouTube. I'm probably going to use Team Treehouse. I'll get into that in another video, and like Udemy, but that's another video. Um, but yeah, all self-taught. I considered going to school. I even threw an application out to a uh, state college. And the longer I've set on that idea, like I threw it out probably two weeks ago when I first started like going through this, this, this thought process. And the longer I've set on it, dude, the longer, the more it's soured. Like, I'm not even interested in that anymore. I, I don't, I'm too old. I'm 30 now. I'm too old to be in a fucking classroom full of kids, racking up debt, and, uh, you know, just wasting time when I could be using the time to get the skills that I really need. So I think at this point I'm going to pass on school and just stick with self-taught, right? But yeah, so I'm going to be documenting the journey here on this YouTube page. It should be pretty dope. Got a lot of things planned, um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to what's to come. I'm going to be dropping another video soon about my plan, my goals, and my process. You know, how many hours I'm putting into a week, what I'm actually working in, the languages I'm working on right now, any projects that I'm doing. I got kind of a general, like, starting sauce, I guess we'll call it, soup, that I'm going to, like, kind of cook through and process. But yeah, so that's where we're at right now. I'm Michael White, and I'm just trying to get right, y'all. Subscribe to follow the journey. Give me a thumbs up to show some love. And y'all, stay up.